They go for the Grassy Glide. We take that incredibly well. Blizzard does connect. That did, like, no damage to that Rillaboom. I was really hoping for... Okay. Okay. What is going on, everybody? My name is Nico, and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet Violet VGC Climb video. Today, we are rocking Avalug. Not just any Avalug, though. Hisuian Avalug, which is really interesting. Not a Pokemon you really see a ton of. This one's rocking the Assault Vest, so that way it can maximize its defenses with Ninetales in play. And then this team's also rocking an Iron Bundle, uh, which is pretty cool. It's very snow-oriented. Uh, then we have for Rigor Wrap with Trick Room, Helping Hand, Thunder Wave, and Psychic. And then Hearth Flame, Ogre Pond to kind of be that rounding out force. We have the um, essentially a Firewater Grass Core because Ogre Pond covers both of those categories for us. So very, very interesting looking team here. And I'm keen to see what we can do with it. Now, this team comes from Zigzagoon in the Discord. So thank you for sharing the team. And if you want to share teams with me, be sure to check out the Discord. I'm seeing it. Keen to see what we can do with this. I do not have a poker pace for this, unfortunately. So it will just be an OTS linked in the description below for you guys. But you can check the team out for yourself. If this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you are sub for more videos like this in the future. And let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on Avalug? Because it's kind of like... It's just not a good Pokemon, never has been, and I think Hisui and Avalug just made the typing even worse than it was before. Now, we do have Terra, so we can avoid typing, but it's just something that I was like, why Why does this even exist? But, let's get into some battles. Alright, I got some rain action here. Um, How do I want to proceed? I do like the idea of Ogre Pond Avalug. Um, from there... Ninetales is okay, and I think I do want Bundle. I think Bundle plays here. I think Bundle actually goes pretty hard here. Plays pretty effectively into most of their team. Now, the one thing we do have to be cautious of is tearing to get away from our weaknesses with Avalug into this team because there is a Thunderous there, and Windbolt Storm would not feel too good into a Terra Water Avalug. So we do have to be extremely cautious of that. But this is going to be a Weather War battle for sure. Rillaboom and Thunderous. Okay. I mean, we could just go for the Spiky this turn. And which one's going to annoy me more? also get Ninetales in, actually. And then go for Avalanche into Thunderous. Because I think I want to get rid of the Prankster. I think it's in my best interest to remove the Prankster from play. And this is just in case they go for some sort of attack. Oh, they go straight into the Rain Dance, actually. They do go for the Wood Hammer. Oh my gosh, we just barely hold on there. Just barely. And that doesn't KO? Good lord. I'm going to swap in Ogre Pond here. And I'm just going to go for the Blizzard. Because if we hit the Blizzard, we just do big damage, right? 
Well, Dango comes in. They go for the Grassy Glide. We take that incredibly well. Blizzard does connect. That did, like, no damage to that Rillaboom. I was really hoping for... Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. So I think we are going to Terra, and we're going to go for the knockoff into the Goldango. Because not many people are expecting knockoff on their uh, Ogre Ponds. Rillaboom is going to swap. That pretty much gave us a free swap into... Um, a free swap into our Avalog here. Which works out in our favor. So we're going to get the attack boost here, which is really what we're looking for out of this play. Knock off. Will KO the Goldango. Love to see that. Down it goes. Now that you have Basket Legion, which we do have to be cautious of. Let's see what they bring in. I'd assume Rillaboom just comes right back in. That'd be my best guess. I think Rillaboom would just come back in to have the fake out potential. Um, but we can just swap in Ninetales to reset the weather. Actually, Thunderous is going to come back in. Okay. Um, Because of this, I kind of just want to go for a Rock Slide. See if we can get that off and just go for the spiky shield here. Because they're definitely more concerned with my... Um, they're definitely more concerned with my uh, Ogre Pond than anything, right? Ogre Pond's the big target. Here comes the Terra. Probably on to Basket Legion if I had to guess. Yep, there it is. Water Terra typing. They're going straight for that Ogre Pond. They want that thing gone. There's the Spiky. Now, in a perfect world. Yes. In a perfect, perfect world. They double that slot. They don't, though. Okay. They don't. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, bundle comes in. Bundle comes in. And we're going to go for a little icy wind action here. And we're going to just swap the nine tails in now. I'm really, really shocked they went into uh, the Avalug slot there. That really surprised me. I mean, maybe they were ca trying to catch a switch, mayhaps? Ninetales comes in. We change the weather. We give Bundle bonus defenses. And we lower the speed on the Basket Legion. They go for the Thunder Wave. We just need to not get hacked. That's the big thing. We just need to not get hacked. Icy Wind does connect. That is going to take the KO on the Thunderous. And keep the rain from going back up, which helps us a ton into this Basket Legion. Love it. 
All right, here's the wave crash play into nine tails. I wonder how well we take that. All things considered, so we don't take that. Okay, that's kind of crazy. All right, Ogre Pond can come back in. I mean, I think this turn is just a double protect turn. We do also just have to accept the risk that, like, we could get paired here. This gets, this is a tricky end game here. Mikey Shield does go off. Come on, don't para. Yes. Love it. There's the fake out into bundle. Interesting. Bundle's your primary target, huh? Bundle is definitely your primary target here. Now, I don't think that continues past this turn. However, we don't have freeze dry. Ooh. Okay. Icy wind and. I don't like the option of missing here. I'm really not a fan of it, but I don't think we have many options. Grassy Glide into Bundle. We take that because of the snow. They go for the Aqua Jet. Into Bundle? What are we doing here? Why are you so scared of Bundle? Power Whip goes off. Big damage into Basket Legion. Why are we so scared of Bundle? And Bundle couldn't move. Okay, totally fine. Literally, that's perfect because they didn't care about the Pokemon that mattered in this battle. My cats are knocking everything over behind me. I'm sure you guys heard that. Uh, we go for the Ivy Cudgel, and that'll close out this game. Avalug's damage was surprisingly underwhelming with that avalanche. I'm not even going to lie. They gave us the battle. That's a GG. Yeah, that avalanche I really thought would just take the KO. Um, Very underwhelming damage there on that. I'm, I, I'm a little shocked that that didn't just OCO that. Okay. This is going to be another weather war here. Hmm. I kind of like bundle and yeah bundle bundle and um my boy here kind of seemed kind of nice urshifu i don't know why i couldn't think of the name urshifu um and then i do want to bring avalug i do want to say with avalug having 184 defense I'm a little shocked we don't have body press on this thing. Like, maybe just run Rock Slide, swap out um, Stone Edge for Body Slam. Or Body Press, excuse me. Not Body Slam, Body Press. I mean, the defense is so freaking high naturally. So they're definitely going to Terra Dragonite here, right? I think we go for the Icy Wind play here. Go for the Icy Wind. Go for the Close Combat, because they definitely are either going to Terra or they're going to Rotate.
Definitely would wish that this Urshifu was just... Oh, hold on a minute. Okay. They don't. And they're just going to let me take their Dragonite for funsies. That's cool. I like that. I mean, I wish I would have just gone for Surging Strikes now, but hey. But I assume they would Terra. Portal Spin, obviously. I don't think anybody is shocked by that. That was weird. That's a weird turn one. Okay. We gotta see what they got in the back. Because that could really change who my Terra target is. Because, like, I'm definitely... Like, just with the typing that Avalug has, I'm automatically going, like, I need to Terra this thing because this thing sucks. But... <laughs> Maybe we don't have to. Okay, Gyarados comes in. Gyarados comes in. So here's what I'm thinking now, okay? We go for the Hydro into the Glamora slot, and we just detect this turn. Just get rid of Glamora. See what we can do after that. Now, knowing they have Gyarados means that Bundle is not my Terra target anymore. I was thinking like, oh, I could Terra Ground and do some stuff. Definitely not the target anymore. Glamora goes down as well. We're in good shape right now. I'm not going to lie. We're in really good shape. Gyarados goes for the Waterfall into the Urshifu. But we don't care. Now, I will say the one issue I'm having with this bundle is the lack of freeze dry. Like, maybe Ninetales should have freeze dry on this team since we're not running it here. All right, there's Titar. Okay, who's their Terra target then? <laughs> you know? Um. I mean, I kind of just want to go for the damage here, and I'm actually just going to swap right into Ninetales to get rid of their defensive boost. Urshifu come back. Let's get Ninetales out. And I definitely think we're preserving. We're, we're definitely preserving our Terra for Avalog at this point. Here comes a Terra. Onto who? Onto who? Titar. Okay, makes sense. Terra normal Titar for what? What for? What are you doing with Titar? Hydro Pump connects. They're dead. They're probably AV. And they missed their Thunder Wave. They're in a bad way. Oh, uh, there's the Rock Slide. Does this KO? Why are you? Wait, I'm so confused. The poison probably takes me out, right? Oh, one HP, baby. Uh, we just go for Icy Wind here. Just to set ourselves up for the rest of the game. Go for Aura Veil. And they gave us the battle. That's a GG. Okay. I kind of like Ogre Pawn and Bundle here. I'm not mad at that idea. I'm also not mad at the potential for like a Trick Room setup. But they also have Ferrigarath to counter my Trick Room. Which... Kind of puts me in a weird way. Um, but I definitely think that, like, a Trick Room setup to get Avalug rolling could be pretty cool. Now, I am very cautious about bringing Ninetales because I really don't want to boost that Backscalibur to any capacity, right? So I'm pretty cautious about that. I think this is my bring. Like, if I, I can avoid boosting Backscalibur at all, I'd, I feel much gooder about the situation. Because Backscalibur is a very scary Pokemon. I think Backscalibur is actually one of the most slept on Pokemon currently. Oh, they're going for Eruption. They're definitely just going for Eruption. Okay. Good to know. Here's the thing. Do they Terra? Do you think they Terra? Um... I'm going to go for the Icy Wind knockoff play here. They actually pulled Typhlosion out, which I am 100% okay with. 
I'm gonna be 100% honest. I'm very okay with that. How does knockoff affect... Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. I wish we would have just targeted Illumise now. Knowing what we know. There's the Tailwind. I mean, what else does that thing do, right? Wait, is that Volbeater or is that Illumise? I don't ever know. It's Illumise. Okay. Speed drop. Speed drop. Love it. Knock off. Actually, that did good damage. Hold on a second. Um... I think we just go for another Icy Wind here. We Spiky Shield Icy Wind to slow down their Ogre Pond again. Actually, just KO it. Lovely. That's actually really, really nice. So Ogre Pond's dealt with. And they go for Bug Buzz into my bundle. That actually did a lot of damage. Okay. Take a ton comes to play. Okay. It's been a minute since I've seen the tank. Um, how do I want to pursue this? Mm. I honestly don't want to knock out either of them, is the thing. Um I wanna get rid of Illumise. And I wanna get Avalug in. I think I want bundle for the endgame. Avalug, the former alpha. There's the fake out. Onto the Avalug. We take that like a champ. They crit me as well. Um, oh, they go for Encore. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Whatever. We don't land the second spiky shield. That's fine. Don't really care about that. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's actually stay in here. And... Gigaton Hammer just kind of bops me, right? Alright, let's assume I don't get bopped by Gigaton Hammer, okay? is actually going to swap out. This is pretty good. If, if we can get this set up correctly and we don't get bopped by Gigaton Hammer, which we probably do, right? There's no way. There's no way they don't Gigaton Hammer. Spiky Shield. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. We can work with this. Tailwind's gone. Get Bundle in. Alright, we go for the Ivy. Oh, I'm locked into it so hard here. Um, I forgot I was locked into it. I mean, I guess we just go for Spiky here. And we go for... I mean, I'm just going to go for the Hydro. They don't swap. We have to hit the Hydro. We do hit the Hydro. Does this KO? Yeah, baby. Okay, we're in great shape. They can't Gigaton me again. And they're down to Tinkaton and Illumise. There's the play rough. Not enough, baby. Bundle is bulky. Okay, so what I want to do now is get Urshifu in and just go for Icy Wind. Slow them down. Slow them down. We get Ogre Pond out so they can't Encore us again. I don't think there's a world where Tinkaton can win this game. Here comes the Terra. Alright, 
Terra Steel, they're gonna gig a ton. You know, do take a ton things. There's the Tailwind. We should still outspeed here, no problem. Oh, we don't. They gig a ton into. Did they do it into the Gersh? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Alright, Icy Wind goes off. We're gonna slow him down. Take a load off. Picaton lost its air balloon. Okay. I mean, we go for close combat and we go for another Icy Wind here. Slow him down again. Let Urshifu speed up. Close combat will connect. That'll take the KO, and they likely take out Bundle here, I'd imagine. But Tink goes down. Tink does, in fact, go down. And then we are left with Illum... What was that? What was that texture that just popped up? Everybody saw that, right? It wasn't just me. We went under the world for a second there. That was interesting, to say the least. All right, and now we get Ogre Pawn in. And then we just claim this game. That's a GG, baby. Unfortunately, we had to use Avalug as our sacrificial lamb there. But, you know, I mean, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. We go for the Aqua Jet and we secure the KO. That's a GG. Three dubs with the Avalug. What else can we do here? What in the shenanigans am I looking at? Okay, dokie. Um... I think Bundle Ogre Pond's actually pretty good as a lead here. Uh, Avalug in the back with... What do I have on this? We do have D-Gleam on this. This could be actually fairly useful. Mm, I think I just want the snow, though. Do I want the snow or do I want Ursh? Because Ursh could be helpful. But I think I just want snow. Yeah, I think I just want the snow, unfortunately. The thing is, because this is a fighting type Urshifu, we can't really bring it into a lot of Flutter matchups, or even like... We, it's scary to bring it into the Sneasler because most Sneaslers are running Terra Flying Acrobatics. We're fighting type, so we can't get away from that weakness. So let's see what they... Annihilate and DD. Okay. How does one want to proceed here? I think I just protect. I think I just protect. I Terra and I go for the big hit onto their Ndidi. They're not going to be expecting the knockoff, so we could just go for knockoff, honestly. So we Terra, I'm curious to see what they do. We protect. Do they go just go for follow me? Oh, they go for protect. Okay. Oh, they fin wait, they final gambit. That sucks, because they took my pawn. And we wasted Terra, so that really sucks, but okay. I mean, that, I mean, it is what it is. Nine Tails can come in. There's the Sneasler. Okay. Oh, it's shiny. That's clean. That's clean. Hmm. 
the Spadef Rose on the Sneasler. I kind of feel like we just have to go for this. They go for a helping hand. Ooh, close combat. We don't take that? Really? We don't take that in the snow? That's crazy. I mean, this is pretty much GG. Like, we blew our Terra. We lost our Terra turn one into a final Gambit Annihilate. I'm gonna go for the Protect and just go for the EQ play here. Maybe get a knockout on Sneasler. If we can get the knockout on Sneasler, I feel like there's a chance we win this game. But we have to have the right call here. We have to assume that they go into Nine Tails. Open hand. I doubt. I, I can't imagine, though. Right? Surely you see this Avalug and you say, I click close combat into this again. No way. No way. No way. No way. Do we take this out now? Come on, EQ, do it. Do it, EQ. Please take this out. Okay. Hey, we're in this still. We're still in this. Okay, hold on. What's our last Pokemon? Fluttermane. That makes things a skosh more difficult. However. However, I think we can still win this. Speed boosted Fluttermane. Let's go for the Avalanche into the Fluttermane. And we go for... I mean, do we just go for the Blizzard? I think we have to go for the Aurora Veil. Fluttermane protects. You lost. You actually just lost this battle. No way you double protect. Wait, you actually just threw the game. There's no way you just did that. Avalug's gonna take a win on its own without the assistance of anything? This is crazy. This is absolutely wild. Okay, we go for Blizzard, and we go for Avalanche. There's no way they let us come back into this game. Here's the Terra. I mean, we're just extra bulky now. There's nothing they can do to stop it. Terra Fairy, who cares? We got screens, assault vest, and snow. What can you do to me? Helping hand. Okay. I see you. I see you. I don't think you KO me, though, through that screen. Moonblast into... No way you dart. Okay, I was going to say you have to hit Avalon. Yeah, baby! Blizzard goes off. Good chip. Avalanche is going to rock your freaking world, Fluttermane. We'll be seeing you. That's a good game. Let's go. I cannot believe we brought that back. A little ice body action. Get some HP back. Okay. Weirdness goes away. I mean, I'm just going to click EQ. I want to take the win with the Avalug. Let's protect here. Ah, they gave us the battle. They didn't want to let us take the dub with the Avalug. That's insane that we brought that back. Wow. This is, that's why I play Pokemon. For games like that where it's just so crazy. Oh, that's good stuff. There's a team for you guys. This is cool. I enjoyed myself. Now, I will say once again, I said this during one of the battles, I believe, um, that I wish that this thing dropped Stone Edge for Body Press. However, the team plays really well around each other you have the iron bundle for the speed control option with icy wind uh allowing it to just kind of mitigate a lot of threats and let your ogre pawn and urshifu kind of set up and then you can run nine tails and avalug in the back allowing avalug to just kind of have that support it needs at that point in the game to do damage i really really like it the bundle is a very nice bring and a nice addition to this particular team i just really like how this one synergizes i do think there's a better option for this team uh than for rigor honestly i mean Maybe Furgraph is fine. I think I would just do better on this team if we drop Thunder Wave, maybe add it in Prism. I think that would just make it an all-around better Pokemon on this particular team, because this team's very much a go-fast mode, um, with the exception of Avalug. 
So that's just kind of my thought on the situation. But uh, honestly, I'm very, very happy with how this team performed today. So really, really cool stuff, Zach. Really cool stuff. Uh, definitely check it out in the description if you guys want to try this team out for yourself. But if you enjoyed the video at any point, leave a like and sub for more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to check out the Discord where you too can share teams and get them featured here on the channel. And if you want to see anything else from me, check out any of the videos that you see here on screen. But until next time, peace.